everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be doing a super exciting video I'm gonna be doing a huge closet clean out my closet is so ridiculously messy I am kind of embarrassed to do this video and actually show you guys how messy my closet is starting out um, it didn't start out this messy a couple weeks ago um, well probably maybe a couple months ago my closet was just really stuffed like I couldn't hang up my clothes that I was just like I'm gonna go through this and just like find some things to get rid of I actually found a lot of things to get rid of I just pulled a ton of things out of my closet but at that time I was really busy so I didn't have time to like list it on Poshmark or really do anything so I just kind of set it all in a pile in my closet and I was like okay at this point my closet's a mess anyways I'm gonna have to clean it out so I just kind of put piles on top of piles and somehow my closet just became what it is now which is like a disaster like it is it is the worst I think it has ever been in my life before you guys think I'm just a hoarder and a messy person I'd like to show you guys my clean room that's not cluttered at all also you guys might notice that my hair is straight today I just I don't know I just decided to wear it straight so I kind of look a little different I just really wanted to take today to clean it out it might even take more than today I might do it today and then a little bit more this weekend that is what we're going to be doing in this video a huge closet clean out um, and then I'll be selling some things on Poshmark. This video is not sponsored by Poshmark. I just genuinely use it to sell my clothes. I'm pretty active on there. I'm always like listing new items. I just find that it is the easiest way um, to sell my clothes. Let's just go ahead and get into it. I actually filmed a TikTok. I've never done a TikTok before so this is my first TikTok and it's the one where you act like you're throwing like a bomb into a really messy space and then you kind of like close the door when you open it back up. It's like super clean. So we'll see how that turns out. So you guys what we're dealing with. I'm embarrassed to show you. I just want to say before you even see my closet that it might seem that I have like a ridiculous amount of clothes and I, I like I do I'm not gonna like deny that um, But I did work at American Eagle for six years where I was just constantly getting well You get like free items, but you also get just like a really good discount You basically get so many items at a really good percentage off each month And if you don't like use it, then it doesn't just like carry over like you just lose it so it's really hard to like pass up almost free items. So I'd always get tons of stuff at American Eagle. And then I work with clothing brands for sponsorships like a few times a month. I have just like built up a collection, I guess, over the years. So let's just go ahead and look at it. This is the current state of my closet. If you guys have seen my videos before, you've hopefully seen it in better, in a better state than this. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's so bad. So I just have like my scarves over here and like some blankets, some bags, like just so many bags over here that I'm not really even using. Just piles of stuff over here. Now this was this, the clothes that I was going to get rid of. And then obviously listing on a Poshmark is going to take some time. It's literally just stuff I need to hang up. Those are just jeans that don't fit over here, which sounds horrible. Poshmark shipping stuff is a mess. My sweatshirts are just super packed in there. Jeans piled on top of here. Tons and tons of sweaters. I know it's like a ridiculous amount. This is all my Poshmark stuff here. I think I'm going to start with this pile of clothes on my floor of stuff that I had pulled out of my closet that I didn't think I wanted. I think I'm gonna start by going through all of that. This, this was all on my floor. This is a lot of stuff. This is like, I'm like overwhelmed. Like this is a lot of stuff. So these were things that I had kind of previously already pulled out of my closet to get rid of, but then I just like never really did anything with them. These Princess Polly pants, they were just a little bit too small, a little bit too tight on me. They're really cute, but I just don't think they fit me good. My sister might want them. So that's why I'm gonna ask her about all the stuff before you list it. And this shirt I got, I think I got last year from American Eagle. And it's cute, I have it in orange, but I just haven't really worn it too much. I feel like there's other things I wear more. Just like a really comfy oversized hoodie. I used to sleep in it all the time, but like I just don't wear this one as much. The striped sweater from American Eagle. It's, um, I really liked it when I bought it. I just don't wear it. Got this gray kind of faded sweatshirt from Boohoo. And I just feel like I have so many other sweatshirts. It's brand new with tags. I just think somebody else could be enjoying it more. Oh my gosh, this I just don't want, but I'm not selling on Poshmark. It's a shirt that says, ask me about gift cards that I had to wear this like over Black Friday at American Eagle. And it's really ugly and I don't want it. This is cute. So I mean, I don't know. I just haven't really worn it. It's from Boohoo 
and I just feel like I have other quarter zips like similar to this that I wear more but it is really cute and I don't really have any colors like this which is why I picked it out and I think it's really nice but um I again I just feel like somebody else could like could really love this and wear it a ton I have so many other things I'm not gonna get that much wear out of it at this point I have so many clothes like if I'm not if I don't love it and I feel like I'm gonna wear it every day I just don't see the sense in keeping it that's a maybe I think I wore this last summer whenever I was still working at American Eagle like whenever I didn't know what to wear to work I would just throw this on with a pair of American Eagle jeans and it would just be great for working at American Eagle but I feel like now that I'm not working there I just don't wear it as much I'll just wear whatever I want to wear you know like I don't feel like I need to wear something from American Eagle and so I feel like I just don't really wear this kind of stuff like it's comfy it's a nice shirt <laughs> I think that's everything that was on my floors. This is all stuff I'm getting rid of. And I've kind of organized this a little bit. It's still really messy. It's getting kind of late in the evening, but I have added much more to my pile. It's growing, but I have a bunch of these sweaters from Brandy Melville. And they're super cute. Like I love the fit of them, but they're pretty much all striped and I just, don't really wear stripes much. I just haven't worn them in a while, but I do really, really like the fit of them. I kind of forget I have them because they're kind of tucked back in my closet. I might try moving them like where they're at in my closet and see if I wear them more. Oof, I don't even know what to do next. Maybe I'll work on these jeans because they are pretty messy. This is not the greatest angle, but it's just going to have to do. We're going to have to try these on. I just feel like I am, I just don't know. Why am I? Why am I brick folding these? I'm folding them like you would see them in the American Eagle shelves. Like I literally just took them all and refolded them. That's not what I'm doing. This is gonna be ridiculous and I'm embarrassed to show you guys, but this, these are all the jeans that I'm trying on. I'm just going to try on all those jeans and I will kind of show you guys. This is what they look like. They make me look really tan because they're so light. I like can't get the pocket in because they're that tight. I do actually feel like these are pretty flattering. I like these black mom jeans. And I do feel like they're really cute with all the distressing, but I just don't wear them. So I've tried on all the jeans. Didn't really find that many to get rid of. At least now I know what they fit like and I feel like I'll be more likely to actually wear them. This makes my closet feel super empty but I took all the sweaters off the top. I'm gonna go on the other side of the mountain, the sweaters, and I'm gonna sort it by color. I know this is like ridiculous, like nobody should have this many sweaters, but I just like to say in my defense, I don't even know. Okay, so I just sorted them all out by color. Green sweaters over here, gray over there, cream, kind of tan, got some black ones in the corner. Here is what the jeans look like. Those are just some shorts that I need to go through. It's significantly better, none of them are on the floor. I added an extra little cube of jeans from those ones that I tried on and I found that I actually liked a lot of them. And I ended up doing that by moving my sweatpants over here because I ended up getting rid of a whole stack of sweaters and then just reorganizing them. My sweaters look so much better. They're color coded and they're just not falling off. Okay, so I think that's it for today for cleaning out my closet. Um, I'm definitely going to finish this up later on this week or maybe tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's a new day and we're going to finish the closet clean out once and for all. So right now I'm just going to really quickly go through all of my 
pieces that I'm gonna list on Poshmark and um, kind of sort through them really quick and decide like what I for sure wanna list and anything that I just wanna try on really quickly because I feel like I just kind of went through everything super fast and didn't think about it and before they're like gone forever, I just wanna make sure that I really want to, I just wanna make sure that I really, really do wanna get rid of them. My sister is going to list them for me because she doesn't have school or work or anything right now and I'm super overwhelmed. I have a lot of stuff to do and so I'm gonna pay her to help me out and list them. I'm gonna have her save them as drafts so I can go back through and make any quick changes. as well as that I also want to switch out this rack today and put fill it all with like some cute spring pieces um, I know this is kind of defeating the purpose of the closet clean out but I just got some cuteness spring pieces today they're sitting in this little pile um, I'm doing a haul with pretty little thing that's where this t-shirt is from and they sent me a bunch of cuteness spring pieces so I just want to fill this up with some bright colored cute spring pieces and just make this look really bright and fun for spring so getting rid of all the coats, not getting rid of them, but like get, well, getting rid of some of them and just switching out this, you know, rack for some fun spring pieces. But I'm gonna do that last. This morning I had some avocado toast and an iced coffee and it's like 70 degrees outside. So that is just giving me motivation today. The weather, had a nice breakfast. So I'm just feeling like tons of motivation and energy today so if you're feeling a lack of motivation i'd recommend just you know maybe having some of your favorite breakfast might be kind of hard to come by i know like avocados is not something that i typically can have right now with you know quarantine and everything sometimes fresh ingredients is not easy to get or treating yourself to some coffee at home um just like whatever makes you happy if it's nice out opening a window that has just given me some major motivation today it's like the little things you know these are just some things that i was originally going to get rid of but then i was like looking at them and i'm like you know i do kind of like these things so i'm just going to try them on or go back through them and just really make sure i want to get rid of them i'm just going to go back through my closet and see what else I can get rid of because I never really went through this section or this section. I'm sure there's more things I can find to get rid of. Let's go through this rack because I feel like there's definitely things on this rack that I'm probably not wearing. This one, I might get rid of. This is probably gonna go. Now I'm just going through and trying on all the things that I wasn't really that sure about, which is actually quite a few things. So I've got this shirt and it's cute. It's from Brandy Melville. It's a really soft material. It's a nice fit. I just feel like I don't really wear graphics like this that often. Okay, and then I have this sweatshirt. I think this is cute. It's like, I really like the collar. Look at Lauren doing the Poshmark listings. I got you. I'm running low on SD card storage, so I didn't record that whole thing. Plus, I figured that would be not boring because it's like satisfying. I cleared that off. I am feeling exhausted. So that is empty. I'm gonna fill this up with some spring outfits. So I'm excited to do that. A nap. Like it definitely has spring vibes. I feel like the mustard shirt is like the only thing throwing it off. Maybe like these two. I think I need more pink. It is literally so springy. I'm kind of proud of this. Some pastel tanks. This shirt from Princess Polly. Some other just kind of like t-shirts. My room is pretty much clean. I got everything that was on my bed picked up and put away. So now we are back to my closet. I think I'm gonna work my way around like the bottom and do that. It's much cleaner. I don't have a bunch of bags piled up. I took all those shorts out from over there. It's cold so I put these little sweatpants on from Pretty Little Thing. Feeling the spring vibes with this outfit. I feel like things are looking drastically better. So now I'm just working on this Poshmark section with all my 
tissue paper and boxes. Um, I also have this box of makeup that I'm gonna be giving away. It's all just like brand new makeup. I've never really used, it's all brand new. Um, I'm gonna be giving it away on like my Instagram at some point, doing like an Instagram giveaway. So make sure you guys are following me at emilygrace.26 if you want to be a part of that. I'm just going through this section. It's just boxes, tissue paper, all the stuff. As you can see, it's clearly a mess. really only took a few minutes and now it looks so much better everything is so much easier to find and I feel like I should probably go through this stuff too this is kind of just random stuff okay this probably looks fairly different but this is all I did I just kind of moved anything that was out into here here is the final result I don't really think I'm gonna do anything more um other than vacuum I am gonna vacuum it I just feel like it looks really good you know the floor is clear <laughs> Um, my sweaters are really nice and organized. Yeah, so my jeans look a lot better. The top of this looks slightly better. I think that's everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to thumbs up if you did enjoy it and you'd like to see more closet cleanouts on my channel. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26. I hope this inspired you to clean out your closets and um, maybe do some spring cleaning, especially while you're stuck in quarantine hopefully this was satisfying to watch i know my closet doesn't look like significantly like more minimalistic or anything but it does look cleaner and i do feel like i got rid of a lot of stuff i do hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye